Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director here at Wildlife Images. And with me today is one of our turkey vultures. We're talking about turkey vultures because we're coming into spring right now. And I know everybody has their own indicator when spring starts. My indicator when I'm out in the, traveling around is to see the turkey vultures come back because they're migratory. Around uh, fall, they take off and they will go down to Southern California, typically maybe into Baja, into Mexico. And then of course, they come back up during the springtime. This year, I think it was about February 15th, we saw the first turkey vultures come back into the area. Now, turkey vultures are a member of a family called Crothardids, and these are the animals that use their sense of smell to find their food. They have the most sensitive sense of smell of any animal ever studied other than the kiwi. As you can see, their nasal passages pass all the way through their, their nose, and they can catch the unique aroma of roadkill from miles and miles and miles away. And our turkey vulture that's with us here today came into our care because of an eye problem. This bird has a, an eye that's basically atrophied, so she doesn't have any depth of field. So the ability for her to go out in the wild and find a good perch and land on it accurately is beyond her ability. But when they go out in the wild, as I mentioned, they follow their scent or their sense of smell. Years ago, one of the pipeline companies through Southern California started using turkey vultures to find leak in natural gas pipelines because they would pump a smell through the gas line under pressure and they'd watch for where the turkey vultures would be circling over the pipeline to find leaks in their pipes. So it's a very clever way of using nature, but of course, probably frustrated the heck out of the vultures that couldn't find a meal where they smelled <laughs> the, the smell. So if you'd like more information about how to become a member of Wildlife Images, how to visit us, how to become a donor or maybe a volunteer, log on to our website at wildlifeimages.org and you can get all the information you'd like right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk on the Wild Side. There's your food. Get your food.